So today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new game that just released called Stalker 2. This is a, sort of like a hybrid game, it's like a first person shooter, it's a survival game, it's also a bit of a, a survival horror game as well, I think there's, a, there's, there's monsters and there's a lot of a, a horror element to the game, I think there's even RPG elements as well, so it's got a big mix of different genres all kind of put together, but I think the big thing I'm noticing about this game is that it, it, it's a, the kind of game that doesn't really hold your hand, you know, it's like it throws you into the wasteland and it's like, okay, let's see if you can, let's see if you can survive. Um, I guess it's similar to Fallout, but maybe a little bit more, a bit more hardcore. So I'm looking at some of the reviews today, and it seems like the average score, as of right now, is a 74. So it has a lot of mixed reviews. I believe this could be due to the fact that it's quite buggy. I've heard that it's a very ambitious game. Graphically, it looks stunning, but unfortunately, there's a lot of bugs, there's a lot of uh, jankiness that needs to be ironed out, and it's clear the game isn't really finished. Um, th this game comes from a Ukrainian studio, so you can kind of understand, you know, everything they went through. The, there was COVID, and then there was the, the current war, so they've not really had the best environment to, to make their game, and you know, you can kind of understand, you know, what, what's been going on with the development of it. Um, I'm going to have a, a look through some of the, the better reviews, some of the, the more mixed reviews, and there's a couple of negative reviews as well, um, and we'll sort of get a grasp of what people are thinking. So there's actually a, a 10 out of 10 review here, so this is a, actually quite rare for this game, so let's see what it has to say. It says, Stalker 2 is nothing short of a miracle. Developed by your Ukrainian studio GSC Game World over the course of seven years amid a pandemic and a war, among many other challenges, Stalker 2 is a labour of love and the best type of sequel one could hope for. While many long-running franchises have strayed from their roots in an often misguided attempt to appeal to as many players as possible, Stalker 2 knows its core audience well and delivers exactly the type of game we were hoping for. So I've never played the the original game. I believe there was like three games. I think the second and the third was were more like expansion packs, I guess, but pretty substantial ones. Uh, I noticed they they all got released on modern systems quite recently, so it, it's a bit easier to to get your hands on and, and play them. They they do look interesting. I'm I'm kind of put off by the fact that it is kind of a bit more hardcore. Uh, but it's nice to see that they're they've made a sequel and the, you know they haven't tried to change their their vision for the game you know just to to sell more copies they they, they have a, a vision that they want to stick to and you know if if the game is going to appeal more to those kind of people that that like a more difficult challenge then so be it so we've got another really good review here, a 9 out of 10, it says Stalker 2 brings the series into the modern era with stunning visuals while staying true to its hardcore FPS roots. The game retains what made the series unique with difficult action, expansive environments and a rich story. However, minor issues such as weaker animations, AI and minor bugs detract from the experience. So it seems like this review is more optimistic. It's clear that they really enjoyed the game. It's just the bugs that are sort of letting it down right now. Um, but I guess we'll find out how serious these bugs actually are um, in terms of like the the overall consensus. So we'll we'll take a look at some of the more mixed reviews now. So I've got a, a seven out of ten review here, which says Stalker Two is a great example of a game that some would describe as Euro jank. Ambitious, unfussy, charming, eluding industry trends and incredibly addictive, but at the same time quite stiff, with numerous technical flaws. If you are able to put up with it, you will have a great time. I, as a long time fan of the series, certainly had. So it's clear, if you, you enjoyed the previous Stalker games, if you like these kind of survival games where the game just does not hold your hand, it just sort of leaves you to 
you know, fend for yourself, then, and if you can get over the bugs, then it seems like you will, you will enjoy this game. I don't think it's um, a deal breaker. But for, for people like me who have never played the original, uh, maybe you don't play so many hardcore survival games, you know, then it's a bit more of a harder sell, I think. Uh, we've got a 6 out of 10 review here. It says, for fans of hardcore shooters or punishing post-apocalyptic games, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl is truly incomparable. Unfortunately, due to a litany of bugs, it's the greatest game you shouldn't play right now. Give it some time, and this will be one of the best survival experiences you'll ever play. But until then, only the series' big fans should take the plunge. So that seems to be the, the general consensus so far. It's... Um, it's just unfortunate that there's a lot of bugs and normally when people say like a game is really buggy they normally don't say oh you shouldn't play this right now you know they would normally say right it's buggy it's not the best but you know it's playable but for a lot of people to come out and say hey just don't play this game like it's going to ruin your experience then it must be pretty bad it must be um really struggling um technical wise which is a real shame, but it, like I said, it seems like if they if they iron out all these problems, if you like these survival games, even if you don't, if they iron out these problems, it should be a really good game. So I think like the fact that it's got a score of 74 overall probably doesn't reflect what it could have been, you know? It seems like it's maybe been a little hard done by. So there's only a couple of negative reviews. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to guess it's the, the same kind of idea about bugs. Um, but this one is a 4 out of 10 review, so they've really went hard on it. Uh, it says, it is fair to review a game when I'm still downloading massive patches for it. Whether you believe that answer to be yes or no, the headache inducing roadblocks that I encountered while playing the highly unstable Stalker 2 have made for a disappointing playthrough. After nearly 15 years of waiting for the next mainline series entry, the game feels less like a groundbreaking continuation and more like a world full of missed opportunities. Okay, so again, this is like a big go at day one patches. Um, I don't mind day one patches because at the end of the day, it's available. You know, we all use the internet now, we all play online, so I don't think. A day one patch is the worst thing in the world but I did read that it's quite a hefty patch I don't know I think there was a couple of patches and there it's well over a hundred gig almost 200 which is crazy absolutely crazy that they need to have a, a really bloated update like that but hey if, if as long as you download the updates that's the thing a lot of these reviews maybe came from before these patches so I'll need to look into it and see if these patches have actually fixed the game, uh, how substantial these fixes were, if it's enough to change a lot of these people's minds, if you should actually play the game. So that's something we'll need to keep our eye on. Um, there's one more 4 out of 10 review here which says, Stalker 2 could be a great game in a few years, but what's presented at launch is a technical mess that doesn't capitalise on its best ideas. Compelling side stories and a brilliant setting do a lot of the heavy lifting, but at launch, Stalker 2 isn't an adventure we'd fully recommend embarking on. So again, it's just the same thing. It's just, it's not good enough right now. A lot of the technical problems will probably irritate you, basically. So yeah, that's something I'll need to look into, see if these updates have actually helped. I think it's also a good thing to note that Stalker 2 is on Game Pass day one. So if you have Game Pass, then, you know, there's no harm in trying it out, see what you think, even if there are bugs, after, even after the patches. At least you get to try the game, it's part of your subscription. And if, if it's kind of like Cyberpunk, like how Cyberpunk was on, before they did the next gen upgrades, um, yeah, that's, like it, it's playable but it's not very satisfying to play so I was one of the people who stopped playing Cyberpunk and I waited for the next gen upgrade 
which I've still not played, but I plan to. But based on a lot of the the feedback from from those updates, you know, people say the game is transformed and it's actually really good now. So I'm expecting Stalker 2 to be in a similar sort of boat, where if we wait a little bit of time before we play the game, we're going to have a much better time with it. And I think your your first experience with it should be, you know, the best. So. On one hand, it's a shame because if you're going to buy the game, then you know these these developers they obviously need the funds. So if if we hold off buying the game, it's it's not going to be too great for them. But if we're looking at purely from a a gaming perspective, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to hold off on on this game. Um, if I get Game Pass again, I'm, I might give this a go. Whether or not the patches fix it, I might just try it, see if I like it maybe check out some gameplay of the, the original game as well, maybe pick that up on current systems. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a genre I'm interested in, I've never played a game like this before. It does seem like a very PC kind of game, but now that it's on console, it's something that I can properly try and get into. So what did you guys think of Stalker 2? Have you played the game yet? Have you checked out some of the reviews yourself? What do you think? Do you think you'll pick it up? Do you think you'll play it on Game Pass? Do the bugs annoy you? Do you think it's essential that you need to wait for a patch before you actually take the plunge and, and play it? Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please give the video a like. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.